Hello. Wow, this is a nice picture. It looks like Alfie, Annie Rose and their mum and dad have gone to visit Grandma in the country. Can you see Grandma in the lane with Alfie? How nice for her to have a farm with cows and sheep next door. And I can see Farmer Gatting's pig lonely in a field. Well, I'm not sure everything's right because this story is called Lost Sheep. Grandma's house had a long garden at the back and a small garden in front with a gate which led into the lane. If you walked one way you came to the road and more houses. If you walked the other way up the hill there were trees, hedges and fields. In the fields lived cows and sheep. The cows went up to the farm twice a day to be milked. They walked follow my leader in a long straggly line. The rest of the time they stayed in the field munching. Alfie liked the slow way they lowered their heads and pulled up great mouthfuls of grass. When he and Grandma passed by, the cows came to the fence and stood in a row, looking over curiously with big brown eyes, swishing their tails and breathing hard through their noses. Cows were very nice, but best of all, Alfie liked sheep. Sheep were his favourite animals, he especially liked the ones with black faces and bony black legs sticking out below their large woolly bodies. The field where the sheep lived was further up the hill. When Alfie climbed the gate to say hello to them, they trotted away and stood barring at him from a safe distance. Meh! Meh! One day when Alfie and Grandma were out for a walk together, they saw a black-faced sheep standing in the middle of the lane, all by herself. She was barring very loudly at the other sheep, and they were barring back from behind the fence. Ma, ma, ba! Oh dear, that sheep's got out somehow, said Grandma. She must have got through a hole in the fence. I think she wants to get back to the others, said Alfie. As they came nearer to the sheep, she ran on up the lane. Every so often she stopped and looked through the fence as though she was trying to find a way back. But when Alfie and Grandma came close to try to help her, she shook her woolly tail at them and ran on. She wouldn't let them catch up with her. The more they hurried behind her, the faster she ran. Soon she had left her own field behind and reached another field full of cows. They put their heads over the fence and mooed at her. Moo! Moo! The poor sheep barred back. She looked very puzzled and lost. Meh! Meh! Then she ran on again. She ran to the top of the hill where big trees grew on either side of the lane. We'd better not follow her any further, said Grandma. She'll just run on and on, and we'll never be able to catch her. Alfie and Grandma stood still, and wondered what to do. The sheep stopped too. She stood a good distance away, but she turned her head to look at them, and barred anxiously. <coughs> Let's just stand here for a while and see what happens, said Grandma. Alfie and Grandma stood together, hand in hand, on the grassy bank. Alfie found it very hard to stand still for long, but he pretended he was a tree growing by the fence, and that made it easier. For a long while, the sheep stood and stared at them. Then she started to trot back down the lane towards them. Grandma and Alfie squeezed each other's hands tightly. They stood as still as still. The sheep came nearer and paused. Then she stepped daintily past them, holding up her head proudly and pretending not to notice them at all. 
Alfie and Grandma stood and watched her large woolly back hurrying away round the bend in the lane. They waited a while before they started to walk home. When they reached the field where the sheep lived, the lane was empty. Our sheep must have found her own way back into the field with the others, said Grandma. Alfie climbed the gate to look. The sheep turned their heads to look back at him. It was very hard to tell which was the one who had got lost. Well done, black-faced sheep, shouted Alfie, waving. And all the sheep barred back. Ma, ma. Well, I'm very glad that sheep found her way home. But at some times of the year, that home can look very different, especially in winter time. Here's Grandma's house again. Farmer Gatting's pig and his cows are no longer there. It's far too cold for them to stay outside. So he has them in a warm cow shed and pigs die. So why are the sheep still outside? I wonder if it's because they have those thick woolly coats that keep them warm. Farmer Gatting has come in his tractor to give them some extra food. It's very difficult for the sheep to find grass under all that snow. So, Farmer Gatting has brought them their lunch. What a good idea that is! Now, can you see anything else happening in the picture? I'm looking in the lane. <gasps> yes, there's some children and they've got a sleigh. They're going to have a ride on the snow. There's something else I can see. And it's outside Grandma's house in her front garden. Alfie and Annie Rose are making a snowman. Oh, what fun winter time can be. Bye-bye. <laughs>